Hey, what up, y'all? This your girl, Savvy. And look, today we're going to be talking about walking in confidence, boldness, and faith through the line of Judah. So let's get it. It's food. It's food. It's food. Four thousand. It's food. It's food. It's food. Four thousand. All right, so let's get started. So the importance of knowing about this is because it has a lot to do with our self-esteem and who we put our faith, who we put our trust in. Who you put your faith and your trust in is how you end up being. For instance, so if you put your, your faith and trust in mankind who is imperfect, unstable, you're going to end up being imperfect. I mean, you're already un imperfect, but you're going to end up being unstable because you're looking to mankind for something they could never provide you with. There's just some things that we can only get from God, from Yahweh. And I want to share this with you. If you know who your faith, your confidence, your boldness resides in, it's a lot of things you can alleviate. And I'm going to show you guys. All right, so let's start it off. What is the line of Judah? So I have a lot of scriptures to back up everything that I'm speaking about. So let's just hop right into it. If you go to Revelation 5 verse 5, it literally says, then one of the elders said to me, do not weep. See the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll in his seven seals. So the line of Judah already has the victory. So by placing your faith in the line of Judah, you also have the victory. You don't have to worry about all these demons, these devils that are trying to take over your mind. That, that's, that's, you know, trying to keep you from the things of God. It's trying to keep you from your destiny, from your promise. If he already said it is yours, you have to walk in faith and know that. Even despite of what it looks like. That's what faith is. Faith is believing in things that you cannot see with your own eyes. So even though, like, you know, Yahweh may have, may have told you, hey, you, you're a bloodline breaker. And you're looking around like, man, I'm I'm doing the exact same sins as my family. Or he may say, hey, you a millionaire. And you're looking around like, man, I only got $10 in my bank account. Faith is that, having trust in things that, that you cannot see. If Yahweh said that it's yours, then you have to keep moving in faith by placing your faith in him that is yours. So let's move on about the line of Judah. Check out Genesis 49, verse 8 through 12. I myself literally just found out like where the term the line of Judah came from. So in Genesis 49, you see Jacob bless all his sons. He literally tells Judah that he's like a lion. I actually want to read this to, this one to you guys fully because it, it, it blew my mind. I'm like, okay. Genesis 49, verse 8 through 12. Judah, your brothers will praise you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons will bow down to you. You are a lion's cub, Judah. You return from the prey, my son. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down. Like a lioness, who dares to rouse him? The scepter will not depart from Judah. So he's always going to be a ruler. Nor the ruler staff from between his feet until he to whom it belongs shall come and the obedience of the nations, nations shall be his. He will tether his donkey to a vine, his colt to the choicest branch. He will wash his garments in wine, his robes in the blood of grapes. His eyes will be darker than wine, his teeth whiter than milk. And if you guys don't know, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, came out of the bloodline of Judah. So uh, out of the, the bloodline of David. That's why they, they, they say like he came out of um, the the household of David, the root of David. Those are the ones that really like strive to keep the, you know, the commandments and things like that. When Israel was you know, off doing what other surrounding nations were doing, worshiping other guys and everything. Judah was still pushing to, you know, be obedient in the things of God and really serve him. And it's no mistake that that's why, um, you know, through the bloodline of David that, you know, Jesus Christ came about. So the line of Judah, that's how the term came about. So let's keep moving. All right. So the characteristics of a lion, strength, power, courage, royalty, protection, authority, majesty, and wisdom. So when you think about a lion, the lion walks in courage and boldness. So that's why when you describe Jesus Christ as the lion of Judah, if you put your faith, your trust, your confidence in Jesus Christ and Yeshua, you're literally walking in a sense of boldness that you ain't worried about nothing. You keeping your eyes focused up on him and when people around you are telling you, giving you no's left and right, rejecting you, abandoning, you don't have anything, you feel like, man, like, literally, 
all I have is my confidence and is my faith. It's my boldness in Jesus Christ in the line of Judah. And when you walk in that sense of boldness, there's nothing that anyone can tell you. And, and don't get it confused. It's not like a sense of pride or anything like that. It's literally knowing who you belong to. It's literally knowing that the one that you put your faith, your trust in is who you are made in his like image. So if he is perfect, his perfection makes up for your imperfections. If he's bold, if he has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind, you can have the faith that, oh man, you know, despite of me, you know, fearing this and feeling weak, let me walk in the boldness and the confidence of the line of Judah, of, of Yeshua, of, of Jesus Christ, so that that fear will no longer rule my mind. Granted, it's okay to have feelings and fear ends up being there, but don't let it stay there because God did not give you a spirit of fear. He gave you power, love, and a sound mind, just like the characteristics of a lion. Your, your, your voice, your countenance, your very being is courageous, majestic, you know what I'm saying, a royalty. It's, 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 it's strength, courage. You have to keep that in mind when you know who you belong to. And it has to do with your identity. Confidence has to do with our identity. I mean, if you have your, your confidence in the wrong thing, then your identity is going to be tainted as well. So think about this. I'm going to give you, uh, I, I love to give an example of myself because, boy, I be going through it. So for me, I, when I, um, a lot of times when I be in relationship with these women and everything, um, I never got the validation I needed as a child. So when I would go in these relationships, if I didn't get the affirmation that I needed, the validation that I needed, like, oh man, you're doing a great job. I really appreciate you like all the time. And when I say all the time, it didn't have to be like every single thing I did, but it's like, I wanted to hear that more than I hear somebody complaining, criticizing me. Even if it was constructive, I want to hear more validation and affirmation. However, you need to get your validation from Jesus Christ, from Yeshua, the line of Judah. And when you keep your focus up, he knows all the right things that he needs to tell you, dealing with the voids in your heart, dealing with the brokenness. When you're dealing with the imperfections and the instability of mankind, you know, um, they can't always dis discern what you're going through, you know, but the Holy Spirit, the, the line of Judah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ knows what words you need to hear for a certain situation because mankind can say the wrong thing and just like that, you can tear down somebody's confidence that Jesus Christ, that Yeshua has been building up. Even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message!